We are. I am not just a woman from Saudi Arabia. I am the person of no fear. I'm a person who don't believe in failure. It was founded by and named after Muhammad ibn Abd al-Wahhab, who wanted to take Islam back to what he believed were its roots. The result? An ultra-conservative fundamentalist view on an already conservative and fundamentalist religion. Women in Saudi Arabia are banned from driving, have to wear an abaya, a long black cloak, every time they leave the house, and have to get the permission of a male guardian to travel or get medical treatment. Means, if I leave the house and something bad happens, I'm responsible for that, because men cannot control their instincts. So I, had to, I was bound to stay home, according to their rules. A male family members control over female relatives, including dictating whether or not those women can work, get an education, or even drive. Women in Saudi Arabia are stepping up their fight against a repressive law that forbids them from driving a car. In the last six months, activists have been getting behind the wheel in defiance of the driving ban. But with U.S. President Barack Obama on an official visit this week, activists have been accelerating their campaign for equal rights. According to CNN, women's rights campaigners in Saudi Arabia are calling for an end to male guardianship laws that keep them, quote, King Abdullah also appointed Saudi Arabia's first female member to the Council of Ministers in 2009 when he stationed Nora al Fayez as Saudi Arabia's Deputy Minister of Women's Education. What is one of the most conservative countries in the world? Dr. Medea al Arush is one of a dozen activists who, for over the last six months, has been posting videos online of herself in the driver's seat. It's all part of a growing campaign to get Saudi Arabia to lift its ban on female drivers. The idea of the campaign that any lady wants to, or woman wants to drive, she can take her car and start driving on a daily basis to do her regular uh, daily routine, like going to the supermarket, going to the school, going. I used to be ashamed of who I am, a woman, but not anymore. But the reason I'm telling you about this is because something good happened. It's pretty incredible. Last week, a group of women took a stand against the ban and started driving in Saudi Arabia. satisfied with the way things are going, but we still want more until we get our full equal rights.